What's going on, One Million Fit Warriors? So you've done a pretty good job with the core stability series and you've asked for it. So we're gonna add a little bit more of a challenging ab routine. This is actually the identical ab routine that 90% of the people that I work with are using right now. With a few modifications based on their own individual circumstances. So again, if you have a tight back or you're currently in pain somewhere in your core, these are things that I wouldn't recommend yet. If you're feeling good and you need to go to the next level, this is for you, okay? So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a straight leg, full sit up, okay? So it looks something like this. I'm gonna go and lay on the ground, and uh, when I say straight leg, I never go totally straight on anything. I'm always bend a little bit, so I'm gonna bend my knees just a little bit. My arms and my thumbs are gonna come back to touch behind me, so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna swing my arms up, and I'm gonna do a full sit up, okay? So I'm gonna go from here all the way up to here. Now I'm going to tall, I'm not reaching to touch my toes, okay? I'm just going up nice and tall, okay? So I'm gonna swing back, tap the ground, come up, nice and tall, okay? So down, bam, up, bam, down, bam, up, bam, okay? So you're gonna start with just 10 of those. Take my hands. Put them right underneath the old rump. From here, I'm gonna bend my knees in, kick my legs up, and then I'm gonna lower nice and slow. One, two, three, bend, kick, lower. Now, you're noticing my head's up right now. I'm trying to put a lot of pressure into my core. If your neck's hurting you right now, just rest your head back, okay? Hands underneath the rump. Bringing it in, extending out, lowering slow. Okay, the key here is how high can you get your knees in? The higher your knee comes in, and the more you kick straight up in the air, you can see I'm shaking a little bit, I need to stretch. Uh, and then I lower, it's gonna be a lot harder on my abs. If I'm doing this, if I'm just bringing my knees up, kicking out like this and down, it might actually end up hurting my back more than my abs. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So once I get done with 10 of those, legs go straight, arms are back, bam, I'm right here again, okay? Boom, 10 more of those puppies. Come back on my back, hands go to the booty, my legs are gonna go out, and I'm gonna cross them. Cross, cross, that counts as one. Again, you're gonna notice my neck is up in the air, and I'm trying to stay really active here, so here, one, here, two, here, one, here, three. 10 of those Snoop Dogs. Now at any point during this, if your back is starting to take on more or your hip flexors are getting really tight, just take a break, head comes back, arms are right here, elbows on the ground, and just kind of push your butt into the air, okay? Turn your butt on, turn your hip flexors off. Cool? So. Crisscross, you knew it, you love it. We go right back to our abs of steel for 10 more. Boom, we'll call it 10. And then finally, we're gonna finish with heels in the ground, the good old Russian twist, okay? So again, work on your posture here. Don't do this rounded like this, right? Work on your posture, keep your posture up. You're gonna go as far as you can without rounding, okay? So from here to here. Side to side counts as one. I'm gonna do that 10 times, okay? Now that would be one set. You've got two options, okay? You can increase the amount of repetitions you do and keep it to one set, which I would recommend you do first. So you just did 10. If that was easy for you, go to 15. Each, each thing you do, each exercise, 15. If it was not easy for you and you found yourself releasing your hips a lot, drop it down to five. You know, you can always drop down at any point too. So you can progress via the repetitions you do and let's say you get to the point where you're doing 30 repetitions of each of those and it's not that challenging for you, go ahead and add a set of all of it or two. See what it does for you. Give that one a shot, give me some feedback.